In this video, we're going to talk about modular arithmetic, addition and subtraction. So for our first example, let's say we are asked to add 1 plus 2 in modulo 5. The first step to do the addition of these two values is to simply say equal to 1 plus 2. So 1 plus 2 is 3 modulo 5. Now, the next step is to look at the number we have and the modulus. So if the number we have is less than the modulus, that means the answer we have is our answer. But if it's bigger, we'd have to do extra steps. So in this case, the number we have is less than the modulus. So the answer of 1 plus 2 modulus 5 is 3. So for another example, let's say we have we are told to add 8 plus 5 modulus 5. So 8 plus 5 is simply equal to 13 modulus 5. If you notice, 13 is greater than 5. So in this case, we have to simplify this modulus further. So the next step is to find how many times 5 does the modulus goes into 13. So 5 goes into 13 two times. So we have to rewrite 13 as a multiple of 5. So to do that, we'd say 2 times 5. 2 times 5 is simply 10. So to rewrite 13 as a multiple of 5, we have to add another number. So the number we'll add is plus 3. So we can say 2 times 5 plus 3 is still equal to 13 modulo 5. So we are picking this value as our answer. So this is equal to 3 modulo 5. So let's take another example. So let's say we are asked to find 12 plus 5 modulo. So we know that 12 plus 5 is 17 and then modulo 5. So the next step is to break this down into a multiple of 5. So how many times can 5 go into 17? So 5 can go into 17 3 times. So you can say 3 times 5. Okay. So 3 times 5 is 15. Now what number do you add up to 15 to give you 17? That number is plus 2. So this is modulo 5. So you basically pick up the number that you add up, which is the remainder. And then this is equal to 2 modulo 5. So let's take a subtraction example. So if we have 12 minus 7 modulo 4. So to solve this, you're simply going to say 12 minus 7. 12 minus 7 is 5 modulo 4. How many times does 4 go into 5? So 4 go into 5 once. So we can say 1 times 4. Then what number do we add up to the value of this to give us 5? We know that 1 times 4 is 4. So give us 5. We have to add 1. So plus 1. And then we write mode 4. So this is equal to, we take this value here, which is our remainder value. So this is 1 mode 4. Let's take other examples. So let's say we are asked to find 20 minus 50 modulo 3. So in this case, this is equal to 20 minus 50. You know that to be minus 30 modulo 3. So if you look at minus 30, 3 can go into minus 30 minus 10 times. So minus 30 can be written as equal to, open bracket, minus 10 times 3. Now minus 10 times 3 is equal to 30. So to add up the remaining number, we can say plus 0. Because there's no number to add up to give us minus 30. And then this is modulus. So from here, we know that the answer is 0 
modulus 3. So for another example, let's say we have 20 minus 48 modulo 3. You can pause the video and try to solve this one yourself. So like we've done before, you're simply going to be saying 20 minus 48. So 20 minus 48 is equal to minus 28 modulo 3. So the question we shall ask ourselves is that how do we represent minus 28 at the multiple of 3? So to do that, we can say minus 10 times 3. So minus 10 times 3 is minus 30. So we can add up the remainder to give us minus 28. So we have to have plus 2. So if you notice, if we had said minus 9 times 3, the result of this will be minus 27. Now there's no number 0 and above that we can add up to this number to give us minus 28. Instead, we have to subtract a number. So it's a must that the number we are adding up has to be 0 and above. So that was why we used minus 10 times 10. See, because we use minus 10 times 3, we have minus 30, and then we can now add up a number 0 and above. So in this case, that number is 2. So this is equal to, we are taking this number, remember, so this is 2 modulo 3. So that's how to do addition and subtraction in modulus arithmetic. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, subscribe to the channel, leave a thumbs up and share with your friends. Thank you.